All right, pull up YouTube. Mm, go here. All right, you can go ahead, Mango, and pay for another debate. And if I have to suffer, then my audience will suffer with me. Go ahead, Mango. What is your gibberish today? <laughs> no gibberish at all. Um, I just wanted to, like, debate on two, po two topics today, abortions and uh, evolutions. Uh, let's start with abortions. So my arguments are really simple. Abortions cause psychological damage. So um, does talking to you, Mango. So should talking to you be illegal? Wait, just let me finish. Let me give my short opening statement. Abortions cause psychological damage. Okay. Um, selective abortion based on genetic abnormalities is overt discrimination. Um, this is basically eugenic termination. And um, so is me charging if, for debates. If if women if women become pregnant, then they should accept the responsibility that comes with producing a child. If we continue to uh, live in a society where people just fulfill their desires and and not take responsibility, then that's that's a that's a highway to failure. That's a highway to failure isn't an society, argument. That's a quick way for society to, to to collapse. People don't take responsibility for their actions instead of avoiding it. So okay, let's, well, let's start getting an abortion isn't the same as not taking responsibility for an action. Slippery slope fallacy, stupid argument. Slippery slope fallacy? Yes. Dude, you just made that up. I just, yes, I made it up thousands of years ago. I just went back in time and was like, you know what? Uh, you, you philosopher guys, Aristotle, Plato, you guys missed this one. I'm gonna, you gotta, you gotta add the slippery slope in there with your other fallacies, and then, and then they just wrote it in the history textbooks, and I came back in time, and then, but yes, that's how I invented it. And lastly, fetuses feel pain during the abortion procedure, so those are why. Not if they're not conscious, they don't. Statement. So, the, so the first one is let's let's look at the responsibility aspect. They completely refuse to take responsibility for their actions no that's wrong getting an abortion is taking responsibility and it's getting the thing out of your body that is a responsible thing to do it's irresponsible no it's not because you've been gifted with life <laughs> you've been gifted and with something inside your body that you don't want that's called slavery mango responsibility for your own actions you committed that activity that led you to have that yes when people is. smoke they get cancer but they don't have to take responsibility and die they take responsibility and get rid of it no they accept the consequences of smoking no they get chemotherapy and they get rid of it no they accept the consequences of, of smoking and smoking I, i'm not sure why you're trying to equate the two they, they don't accept no no mango no mango they don't accept the consequences that's smoking wrong is a health condition mango you're gonna get muted if you talk over me so you if you they do not accept being having cancer and dying they go get chemo and kill the cancer it's not the same it's a scenario, not the same situation. I never said it was. I was just saying your stupid that argument that they don't take responsibility is wrong. It's not a stupid argument. It is a stupid argument. It's not a stupid argument. It's definitely a stupid argument. You, they need to take responsibility for their own actions. They are taking responsibility, I'll argument come back to that later. I'll come back to that later. So fetuses feel pain during abortion procedure. According to Professor of Pediatrics at the University oh, of Utah School of Medicine, explains that the most primitive response to pain is the spinal reflex. So the fact that fetuses feel pain during the abortion spinal procedure, reflexes aren't really conscious indicate, experience argument debunked. You know, what did you just say? Spinal reflexes are not conscious experience argument debunked. <laughs> They are conscious experiences. It's been documented and studied that the most primitive response to pain 
is by the spinal reflex. Oh, God, you're an idiot, Mango. There's things that have spines and spinal reflexes that don't have brains. Idiot. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Are you serious? Yes, you anyway. can have a spinal reflex without being conscious. So, the fact that there is a pain caused to the fetus, would you say that that is appropriate? No. For you can cause pain to a baby. worm. Doesn't mean it's immoral. Doesn't have consciousness. It's not immoral. So because it doesn't have consciousness, then it's not immoral for it yes. to cause pain. So you can cause pain to something that it does not have consciousness. Yep. You can get a spinal reflex on things that don't have consciousness. But the fact that they respond... So do worms. That doesn't mean they have consciousness. Pain, how is that not an indication of consciousness? If you were giving a response to pain, that is an indication of being conscious. Because it, reflecting to physical sensations is not indicative of consciousness. Uh -huh. Okay, well, define the consciousness for me. Consciousness is the, the fact of being aware. Would you not agree? Sure. And if you respond to your surroundings, whether that is pain that you've received, that is becoming aware. No, it's not. Bacteria it respond to their surroundings. They are not aware. They are aware. No, you're dumb. Is, it is, is a spectrum. There are those that have no, a you're dumb. level of consciousness and those that have a low level of consciousness. Doesn't doesn't mean that they're not able to. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're not aware of the surroundings. It's just that they are, they are aware of certain things. No, you're not, dumb. So if you're saying aware, bacteria, they killing they bacteria is immoral because they respond to pain, then you're an idiot. Yes, the fact that you. Yes, I know you're an idiot. Thank you. I, we agree. You're an idiot. I agree. <laughs> without their consent, absolutely, that is immoral. According to your objective morality uh, arguments. No, so because bacteria don't have a will because they're not conscious because you're an idiot. There are abortions that have been performed on a 12-week-old fetus. Is that immoral? Is it conscious? Because if it's not, then no. We see the child's mouth open. I don't care. We see, we see worms' screen. mouths open. That doesn't mean they're conscious. That silent scream is a child signifying being threatened. I've already debunked that dumbass argument, Mango. With extinction. You've been debunked, Mango. Next. All right. All right, let's go with the, with the, with the other arguments. <clears throat> Abortions cause psychological damage. So does talking to there you, Mango. Does study, that mean talking to you is immoral? There's been a study conducted, there's been a study conducted um, we're 154 percent. Okay, okay. So Mango, I have already granted that. I've said wait, wait, talking wait, wait, to you wait, 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 causes wait, wait. mental stop, harm. Stop, no, stop, no, stop. no, Mango. You have to actually stop address the argument. I so shave off that colored hair of yours. So, so <laughs> I'm just gonna kick you because I don't, I don't like you. Only pay me half as much, so I only need to keep you here for like 10 more minutes, and I can kick you. So wait, why? Because you only paid half as much. You didn't pay for a full debate. No, you paid exactly the amount that you paid previously. Nope. Yes, which is also for half, which is why we did it on Discord and I'll let it keep it on. But since we're not on Discord, I'm just going to kick you because I don't want to talk to you that long. Well, I mean, I'm not even able to join. So I'm not sure why you're trying to say that that's my issue. No, that, that's the reason I didn't kick you earlier is because other everyone else was entertained by talking to you. But I'm not. Oh, right. Okay. That's um, really unfortunate. Well, I, how, you know... um you know, motivate yourself so that you are, you know, you feel that you can um, gain some value out of this. But anyway, there has been a study that's been conducted. 154% of women are more... I don't care. I already addressed that, Mango. What did you say? I said that talking to you causes mental damage, therefore is talking to you immoral. Okay, so talking to me causes mental damage, therefore is that... Yes. I can't hear you. There's a plane... Yes. Talking to you is immoral. Like I, I agree. <laughs> yes. If it's if it's causing you pain, then absolutely. There you go. You guys heard it here. Talking to Mango is immoral. 
So you agree that the fact that 154% of women likely to commit suicide because of the fact that they went ahead and, and aborted their, 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 their uh, term. How is that not an indication that abortion is immoral? Peel the consequence fallacy. It doesn't matter if people are more or less likely to commit suicide. It doesn't make it any more or less moral. Wait, sorry, could you repeat that again? It doesn't make a difference if people are more or less likely to commit suicide. That has nothing to do with whether or not it's moral. Okay. So the people that was making cigarettes and the day when they... Oh, thank you for the super chat, Scotty. Um... I banned Mango from TJ on Discord server. Here's your refund. <laughs> I didn't see the unban. Uh, well, I unbanned you, but you still couldn't join for some reason. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have been unbanned. But I mean, I can give it a one more try. Oh. But then again, like, you know, that it is immoral. The fact that you are more likely to commit suicide because of abortion. I mean, There's another plane. I can't hear you. Anyways, let's go to my last argument regarding abortion, which is... Selective abortion based on genetic abnormalities is overt discrimination. Would you agree? Sure, it's by definition discrimination. Awesome. At least we agree on some points. We agree on the definition of discrimination. Like, uh, not giving your money to literally everyone is discrimination. Not being attracted to some people is discrimination. Discrimination is just saying some people are different than other people. Congratulations. And lastly, let's go back to the original argument women become pregnant, they should accept the responsibility that comes with producing a child. No, they fully accept their responsibility People and then get an abortion. Responsibility. They do take People responsibility. Take Argument debunked. The unborn baby should not be punished for a mistake made by adults, would you agree? Sure, it's not. It's punished because nature did it. So nature did that. And yep. You... So, um... If I laid out guns in front of you and you happen to pick up one and if they're in your you, body, yes. Is the is the gun manufacturer boy the one responsible? If they're for in the your body, that? yes. You sound insane. If I laid out guns in front of you and you picked up one you If it's in your body, you yes. But the fact that you guys already debunked your argument, Mango. Dude, you haven't even listened to what I said. I said if because I debunked your, or I debunked your false analogy before you even made it. It's pretty simple. Like, if another person is in your body and you kill them to get them out of your body, that's called self-defense. <laughs> self-defense. Jesus Christ. That's really, that's really pathetic. Really pathetic. It's just the law. If you're dumb, then you're dumb. But that's the law. That's the law. Yes. The and the law is morally correct. If someone else is in your body, you can kill them in self-defense to get them out of your body. But the fact that abortion promotes a culture in which people... In which no, it doesn't. Like, There's no contract. Where's the contract in, a, the in, that, in, like, abortion? The fact that, you know, it promotes a culture in which, which human life is disposable. The fact that uh, the human life, life is disposable, disposable if it's in your body without your consent. That is insane. It's literally just self-defense. The legalization of abortion sends a message that human life has little value. Yes, if another human being is in your body without your consent, then it has no value and you can kill it to get it out. Correct. And it creates this throwaway culture. Throw this away. Throw right. Away. If another oh, person right. is in your body, you can throw desires, them away. It's desires. very, very easy to understand. Control my desires. That's, that's the appeal, right? That's what you want. You no, want that's a slippery slope desires. fallacy. If they're in your body, then yes, you can use whatever means you want to get them out of your body because they're in your body. That's disgusting. You are horrific. All right, let's change the subject to, to evolution. Um, I don't believe evolution is... Because is, 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 well, you're um, dumb. 
is valid set of uh, ideas. I don't think a valid set, set of, of ideas? ideas? Which premise doesn't follow from the conclusion? The, 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 the set of reasons to support evolution is weak. Uh, and I do not. Well, uh, you said it wasn't valid. So which, which, with, which? How does the conclusion not follow let's from the premises? DNA. Let's begin with DNA. No, no, no. You said it's not valid. How is it not valid? I'll explain how it's not valid. So, you do you, you say that DNA is an indicator of? Okay, so to explain that. how it's not valid, you have to say here is the conclusion, and it doesn't follow from these premises. That's how you explain how it's not valid. Okay. Go. It's not valid because DNA sequence data. Yeah, that's not that's what valid means. The... Um, uh -huh. Valid means premises, conclusion, conclusion not follow. That's exactly what I was just trying to get into, but you just keep Okay, how does the conclusion right. not follow? So these are my premises. DNA sequence data. Do you think that DNA is an indication of evolution? uh patterns in dna are okay cool so dna sequence data has no direct access to the processes of evolution um and this is according to scientific study conducted by I have no idea what you're saying what's the argument so dna sequence data dna sequence data is an argument it's a sentence what's the argument has no direct access to the processes of evolution. So the fact that we can objectively <laughs> what? reconstruct... What? Doesn't have direct access to the processes of evolution? That makes literally zero sense. How does that not make sense? Well, the processes of evolution are natural selection and mutation, which literally both directly happen to the DNA. So I don't... I don't it's, it's stupid what you just said. You haven't... You haven't... You fucking... So they have no direct access to the processes of evolution. Again, that, that sentence does not make sense. Debunked. Let me finish. It's not it's not a sentence. It hasn't been completed. The <laughs> objective reconstruction. The objective reconstruction, right? Do you know what that means? Nope. The objective reconstruction? To... That that is also not a complete sentence. That is also gibberish. <laughs> Let me finish. Objective reconstruction is basically when you try to reconstruct past events without feelings, without imagination. The fuck? The None of that is... made sense. Reconstruct things with no feeling and no imag... How can we reconstruct things in our imagination without using imagination? That's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I've spoken to Kent Hovind, so that's like, that's saying something. Let me finish. Stop, stop being wrong. Well, if there's a problem with the first when part you, of your sentence, you, you adding more problems isn't going to make it less of a problem. It's still going to be stupid and a problem. So, so try not to make any it, problems it, in the first dude, part. It's not my problem that you have a low IQ and you are not able to comprehend what I'm saying. Well, so uh, I, I don't need to, to have the low IQ here if your words literally don't make sense. It doesn't matter what my IQ is. Your words aren't going to make any more matter. sense. If you have a low IQ, then you're not going to understand shit. Well, it doesn't matter so what IQ anybody has. They're never going to understand you if literally the words don't make sense that you're saying. Clearly you have a low IQ because you, you, you attempt to... It's not an argument, Mango. Like, you're you not making an IQ. argument. Obviously you have a low IQ because if you can't... Not an argument, Mango. <laughs> so, the fact that we're trying to objectively reconstruct... It doesn't make any sense. Objectively reconstruct what? Of the banished past. It can only be achieved. The fuck? By the critics. banished path? Is this some kind of like Elder Scrolls lore shit? Dude, like, are we I talking like finish? Skyrim? Is, is this like can, the, 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 the Brotherhood? What is it? The Dark Brotherhood? Don't reconstruct <sighs> the path. This guy just keeps interrupting me. DNA sequence data has no direct access to the processes of evolution. So the objective transformation, or sorry, the, the objective reconstruction of the vanished past can only be achieved through creative imagination. So again, that didn't make any sense. It's not an argument. What? So basically what I'm trying to say is that there's no real scientific evidence that evolution is occurring at present or ever occurred in the past. Y yes, it's happening right now and in the past. No, there's no real scientific evidence. Yes, there is. That it never occurred. In you not understanding it isn't an argument. The fact that no, because you keep running to DNA, 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 DNA. I, <laughs> you brought DNA up. I didn't run to anything. 
trust me, I, I've heard your arguments uh, um, for evolution, and all you do is bring up DNA. DNA shows this, DNA shows that. Yes, um, DNA, DNA, DNA um, patterns in DNA prove evolution. But there's no direct access to the processes of evolution. That, that literally doesn't, doesn't make do sense, Mango. I don't know what you're saying with that. Those words literally do not make sense. P. I Barnes is in the chat. News. He's like, huh, what is he talking about? Question mark. I guess he's not paying attention. That's what happens with these atheists. Uh, literally no one understands what you're saying in the chat argument. Okay. DNA sequence data. Are you familiar? Would anybody else like to join, to join and then annoy Mango and ask him questions about his silly argument? Please use the link in the thing at the top. It's pinned. Whereby.com slash T-Jump. Unbelievable. So it's reasonable to conclude that evolution is not actually a fact of science. <laughs> um, in fact, it's not even science at all. It's just an arbitrary system built upon faith in universal naturalism. That's right. Evolution is faith, and not because we've proven it. No, it isn't. It's built upon universal naturalism, and you have to agree with that. Hello, Eddie. How's it going? Travis, what's up? Hey, what's up? Please ask Mango a question. Eddie, thank you for Me? the super chat. Yes. Are you a Christian? Yes. Why? Um, logical reasons. <laughs> the best kind. Uh, okay. Do Christians need faith to be a Christian? Define faith. Uh, I don't use faith in my life. Why don't you define faith? Faith is confidence. Okay, what is the confidence based on? Logical reasoning. Okay, so faith isn't required to be a Christian. I just told you that faith is confidence. Right, but like... Do you have confidence? Or are you like T-Jump who colors his hair and sits on a couch? <laughs> Does my hair look colored? Why don't you use a mic, uh, like a video camera? Because I lack faith. You lack faith? Yes. In what, us? In myself. You don't think you like, or you don't think you're handsome or something? There you go. I just proved you that faith exists. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, right, I, wait, I, so, faith, faith, yes, what, faith exists. What you, what you, People have faith. What are you trying to say? Like, get to your point. Is, like, faith, like, like, I don't understand, like, does faith have to be based on evidence? Or faith does it just, just mean the confidence? Is stupid. Faith is just confidence. Okay, so confidence, assurance, do you know what assurance means? Hey, you not, know, like, assurance of, yeah, like, I know what Hebrews... Someone. Say something to someone that will give them confidence, that will give them certainty. That's all it is. That's what faith is. Okay. It's so, that, you know, like the quality of being uh, certain. The quality of being certain. Okay. Does faith make any other religion but Christianity true? All other forms of religion is... Can you speak up? It's really hard to hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you. It's hard to hear you. Can you, like, be louder? I mean, I'm being the loudest I can possibly be. So, I can switch off my AirPods. Is that the reason why? It might be. I'm using AirPods, but um, everyone in the chat has been complaining about how hard it is to hear you. It's Mango's mic. It's always like this. AirPods. Mango's mic has always been crappy. Uh, this is better now. Uh, it's a little better. It's just like, yeah. All right, so now I mean, like, dude. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, cool. So, what's your point? Get to your point. Okay, so, like, does faith make other religions true or not? Um, does faith make other religions true? 
Like when someone says they no, have faith no, that Islam no, is true. No, it does not. Okay. And how many religions exist based on your estimates? Just get to your point. I don't care. Just get to your point. So like 5,000 religions exist. Do you agree? No. Just get to your point. You don't agree? No. There's only one. The rest are merely just uh, what? Uh, creative imagination. Creative imagination? Oh, great. That, that's There's quite useful. One. There's only one. So all the other religions, say 5,000, are creatively no. imagined by people. There are cults Absolutely. or... According to or Dito, everything is imagination, which is actually, you know, it, it's, it's expected, especially if you're autistic, to say that. But I mean, for others to agree with him, it's unbelievable. It's really hard to hear you. Really? Yeah. yeah. At least you're louder than Jesus, but. <laughs> yeah, it's really difficult to hear me. That's unbelievable. I mean, it's not that unbelievable. Look at the chat. Everyone is saying how hard it is to hear you. Dude, did you want me to scream and shout? Yeah. yeah. I also want you to go on video. <laughs> like, what are you scared of? Us? Us? Atheists? Ooh, scary. Just get to your point. Okay, so I don't... So you think all religions but yours are imagined. What about Christianity makes it impossible to be imagined? What makes it impossible? Yeah, like, is it possible to imagine everything in Christianity? Uh, absolutely not. It's rooted in uh, reasoning evidence. What do you there mean? Available, there's an available what do you mean? Body of, there's an, could there's could an I just make up, could I make up a story right now about a guy that rose from the dead a couple thousand years ago? Could I make that up right now? Absolutely, you have every... Okay, uh, okay. Could I add that this made-up being was immaculately conceived by the actual God himself? Could I make that up as well? Absolutely. Okay, can I add in a heaven and a hell where people that die go to? Sure. Okay, so what part of Christianity is impossible to imagine? Because you just basically said like three major parts of it are eight, are easy to imagine well it's for me personally it's the practicalities i don't care about you personally i care about what's true um that's the issue you need to have it have actually experienced the practicalities that it offers and if you have I need to experience, to experience the practicalities, then you wouldn't be able to relate to what I'm about to say. So you need to have it, have actually experienced the practicalities that it offers. And if you have experience the practicalities, then you wouldn't be able to you have an echo, mate. Can you, can you mute give me one? Turn off your YouTube. You Hi, guys. <laughs> What's up, Frank? Hey. Wow, you're not scared of the camera. No, I'm not. <laughs> are you are you asking Mango questions, or do you want me to ask? Them? I mean, oh. like Mango basically just said that his religion cannot be imagined, but we can imagine parts of it right now. I, like, I don't understand. Like, just because like, you can imagine parts of something doesn't mean that there's some of its parts. Okay, sure, I agree. But like, you agreed with us that all other religions are imagined by people right like yeah can can, can i just go can i continue and go through discern, all the bibles no, like miracles the fact that you can discern between what is right and wrong are you able to discern between what is right and wrong discern right and wrong what are you able to do that yeah because yeah. i am an evolved animal and where did you where did you where did you get that trait from uh, my ancestors evolved it. And where did they get that from? Their ancestors. And where did they get that from? Um, <laughs> more ancestors would. So you're saying it's just an infinite ancestry? 
basically. That's the most ridiculous argument I've ever heard. <laughs> Do you think like the Earth is flat because it's in the Bible? How is it that, according to Tijong, unconscious beings have evolved into conscious beings? That's impossible. How is it that you cannot admit that Christianity can be imagined by people that are wrong today? The fact that you can evolve from an un- from being unconscious to conscious is impossible. <sighs> okay, so is God conscious? Yes. And so he was always conscious? Answer or... my question. Answer my question. Is it possible to evolve from being unconscious to conscious? Yes. Prove it. Show me the evidence. You want me to prove it? Yes. Okay, here's evolution. What do you not understand about it? Hey, Travis, can I answer that? Sure. Yeah, it's an emergent property. Like, uh, I'll give give teach them. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'll give teach them's example. Not all. Like the column behind you? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Not all walls are bricks, but. Wait, how does it go, Tijo? <laughs> not all bricks are walls. Not all bricks are walls, right? Is right. Strong and capable exactly. of any individual thoughts. Mingo, is there anything the four of us could do right now that proves that Jesus is alive? Did you say alive or is it alive? Alive, alive, like, like the same way we're alive. What's your deal, Mike? Do you think <laughs> like, Jesus why, is alive? What's why what why do you have why so much hatred? I don't have hatred. I mean I live in America and I don't know if you are aware of this, but on nine eleven in two thousand and one people of faith blew planes into buildings and killed thousands of people. So I'm not sure if you remember that, but maybe you, you weren't alive. Then? Faith faith is not reserved to just religion. Faith is just confidence. Whether that's confidence in your own opinions, your own beliefs whatever no that's trust that's exactly what faith is you fool (laughs) okay do you do you trust people like blindly like with no evidence uh yeah i I believe that that is a a a reasonable mechanism uh uh for certain situations right like for instance if you were do you trust on god if you were presenting to a boardroom for instance, and you brought in your team together, you would trust that your team deliver a perfect presentation, right? All right, did I hire my team? Or would you not? Yeah, but people can change. Okay, so, so one are... day someone might be confident the next yeah, day. Yeah, people can talking. change, so can gods, right? So you, there, there is a practical application to right. faith. So I don't know what you're talking right. about. I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's not faith when I work with my employees because they're hired on their merits. They went to college. Merits change. Okay. So I like, it still doesn't mean I have faith in them. It means I trust them because I have evidence that they that are good faith. employees. That is faith. How is that faith? Because merits change. One day they may be confident in presenting. The next they may not be, and you may not be aware of that. And so, you know, what okay, you so I would still trust them at ninety percent or something, and then if they See, fail to deliver, percent, and that yeah, is it's never one hundred percent exactly. It's trust without evidence. No, th- that's not how it works. It does. No, Shut it does. You're a T jump follower. You have no. You have no. You have. You have none of your thoughts here. Shut wow. Up. Mingo, were you indoctrinated into Christianity? Were you indoctrinated into atheism by T jump? No. <laughs> Can you answer my question or no? Then why are you so goddamn pathetic? Hey, uh, one Mango, hiding like like Mango, a little bitch. What do you What do you think about black people? Mm. I honestly believe that black people should be enslaved because they're very lazy. <laughs> but if you wow. if you motivate them through slavery, if you motivate them through slavery, they will actually do things and get things done. Uh, thank you, Jacob, yeah, for the I, super chat. I just for wanted I am to conscious ask of nothing because I had heard against you nothing. said something crazy like that before. So. What's your real name? Like, <laughs> no wonder you're 
fucking anonymous fucking asshole how is that being an asshole we all know historically <laughs> that they're lazy but if you motivate them through slavery then they'll actually get things done what do you think about neil degrasse tyson by the way <sighs> i think he just keeps on interrupting people when they talk that's a <laughs> uh, identifiable characteristic silent because you know it's it's you're reality. just so you just can't stupid. deal with reality yeah like mango, i asked you times... if jesus is alive and you're hey, like hey, what? Mango, how many times have you been banned from the tgm server stop trying to diverge from the conversation i'm just asking let's a question go to, let's go back to black people why do you oppose buttons please explain <sighs> I can't even understand what he asked. Honestly, can some, someone tell me what he asked? Honestly. I don't know. I don't speak stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I said, why do you, why did you react to the response I gave regarding black people? I don't know. I think you're a racist, but I mean, that's just How? my opinion. Please explain. You can't just because explain you just said that black away. people should be enslaved. I mean, come on now, dude. I mean, we live in the 21st century. I mean, how some of us do. can you be? <laughs> Because you haven't listened to what I said. I said that they should be enslaved because it motivates them to do work. If you were black, would you want to be enslaved? Yeah, because I know that I'm inherently <laughs> lazy. And I know I'll be inherently lazy, and so therefore... Is this yeah. why you haven't proved that God exists yet? Since you're lazy? <laughs> Mango T, by the way, he slavery is like a... Give, slavery will give me the motivation to do stuff. Mango T, by the way, Mango T has like two uh, master's degrees or something. So I just want to let you know. Travis. I don't believe yeah. that. <laughs> I have Apparently, that's what he said. Psychology and um, oh. uh, show, show it. Show us the documents. I don't believe it. Nice try. You're trying to get me to turn on my camera full. Oh wow, you're scared. Hey Toss, oh, I'm, I'm muted on for black people, right? He hey Toss, how's it going? When you put them, when you when you put them into slavery, it motivates them to do work. Toss, you are Frank, muted. You Can't bit, hear you. Can't hear you from your mic. You look a little bit lazy, Frank. Uh, how about now? That's better. No, yeah, that's yeah, better. Okay, okay. Well, well, Mango, uh, I'm curious. Um, you said God was conscious. Does God have thoughts? Wait, just hold on. I just want to just conclude with that the black people are going to be that great. We don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, it was... Fuck you. Let's go. <laughs> Answer the question. What was the question? Can you speak up? Uh, does God... You said God have well, thoughts, right? First of all, right? take that shit out of your nose. It's disgusting. <laughs> you, you said like two minutes ago, you don't even dare Says to show the on camera. Troll, yeah. Honestly, Come on, dude. Mean, Get I'm on here. Let me see your pretty face, baby. The most immoral human beings <laughs> I've ever oh, wow. At least you've seen us. Two face tattoos. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Show your face or answer the fucking question. Stop dodging. Does God have thoughts? I think you look cool to us, by the way. The question, hurry up. The question is, does God have thoughts? Yes or no? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So God is conscious, but he's not. He does not have thoughts. Okay, wait. So is God a a? Does God have free will? I have no idea. Okay, so you don't know if he has free will, or as if he has thoughts. Is he even a mind? You said he was conscious. What the fuck does no. conscious mean to you? Because the minute you attempt to define anything, but you define. You already defined something about him by saying he's conscious. Wait, That's defin wait, stop. If you define something, you are immediately assigning limitations and restrictions on it. Like being conscious. <laughs> that is a limitation and a restriction to the possibilities of... Is that why you can't define God? Yes. Because God but, is made up? But but you can say he's, he's conscious. That that much you can say. Everything else that like would question your worldview that's that's hard to answer okay no it's fine it's fine no it's not it's not the, it's not the fact that it questions it. it's just because if you attempt to label anything it, it it falls under existence and if it falls under existence then it's limited and restricted according to <laughs> if it fall, wait wait a minute it falls under existence as opposed to not existing so 
anything well, that would imply God exists. Is, not existing is also part of existing. Not <laughs> existing is a part of existing. <laughs> not a is a part no, of I'll, a. I'll by the way, I'll explain why. I'll explain why. So non-existing has attributes. It has uh, properties. Would you agree? No, that would be the opposite of it. Uh, it. Like lack. Okay, properties. then define. Please define what non-existing is. Uh, the state of not existing. Yeah. Okay, that's the state. We get it. But what are the attributes? What are the qualities of not existing? It doesn't have any. The that's kind of, of the point. <laughs> what are the qualities of Jesus again? The lack of so any fact, attribute. So, so it does have a quality. You just mentioned that TW said that it doesn't have qualities. That is a quality. No, no lack of something <laughs> isn't having it. How is the lack of quality no, like a quality? You, you know what I'm saying? The fact that it's lacking, that is the quality. That is the attribute. No. No. So I have infinitely many qualities. I, I'm lacking a horn. I'm lacking wings. Those are qualities. My lacking of them is, is qualities. I'll give you a simple example. Let's say you, you write a program right, that created nothing. In order for you to write that program, you need to have... Your mic is destroyed again and you're making no noise. Let's say you wrote... <laughs> How about now? Can you hear me now? Uh, a tiny bit better. I mean, it still sounds stupid, but it's a little better. Um... Instead of paying for debates, you should like pay for a new mic. That might that might help. Hey Mango, is and a camera since you're a bitch. Hey Mango, is there anything? Let's say you wrote, let's Mango, say you wrote a program, and, and you wanted to create nothing, right? Would you not define attributes to do that? No. In order for you to create nothing, you would need to define attributes, would you not? No. If I wanted to create nothing, I would do just nothing because that would create nothing if I do nothing. I'm talking about in the context of writing a program. Right, so if I wanted to write a program to create nothing, I would literally just do nothing. I don't think you understand how programming works. <laughs> um, but, I mean, you already admitted that nothing has qualities, because in order for something to be nothing, it needs to be nothing, right? Uh, no, because if it had the quality of being, it wouldn't be nothing. Okay, I got a really easy like example here. Mango. Mango. Imagine. <laughs> Wait. Do we all have pink, Christians swear we have like you? Brown. We have. Okay, yeah. If we like <laughs> combine our hairs together, maybe that's kind of red. I don't know. I have a mango colored hairstyle. <laughs> I gotta go. What was your question, man? Because you, you know you don't sound that intelligent. Are you asking me? Yes. I don't have a question. I had an example. Hello? Hey, now we can hear you. Oh, there. You were ready. Hey, All right. So, uh, I heard the uh, comments about the uh, (laughs) black people. uh, And I was just curious. (laughs) Wait, before you go in, may I just... Real real quick, sorry. Uh, But just for Mango, I'm going to put in my slightly bigger (laughs) nose ring. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) Do you have gauges too? Um, wait, so you said oh black people should be enslaved because <laughs> they're inherently so lazy? What's the question, man? That's, I, that was my question. You said that, right? To clarify? Absolutely. Black people should be enslaved. The okay. Fact that if you enslave them, they become motivated. We thought um, enslaved, Mango, your mic is being destroyed lazy. again. We can't hear you. Can you even know? No, it's still very quiet. Dude, I'm on my laptop and I have a better mic. Come on now, man. I'm literally on my laptop. And I have pork on. I'm screaming right now. Jesus. How are you not able to hear me? That was a little better. Still quiet. How about now? Is this better? Yeah, it's much better. Much better. Keep your mouth placed against the surface of your laptop and it'll make it easier for us to hear you. Near the surface of my what, sorry? Laptop. Can everybody hear me now, though? Yes, now you... Yeah, we can hear you. You now make words that sound so, like something. I said, I said that um, without slavery, then they become unmotivated and they, because they're inherently lazy. And slavery enables them to actually be productive. Uh, we can't hear you, Ellen. 
You're muted. Do you have any, do you have any examples of all of this? Like at all? Like any, any, any evidence at all indicating this? Yeah. Or is this so, just like... Uh, globally, um, historically, in fact, there's been, you know, consistent pattern of enslaving West, West Africans because... They're very good. When you enslave them, they're so good. Wait, they're so, so do you know? Wait, wait, wait. So... Do, you, do you know? Do you know how they actually got enslaved in the first place? They were enslaved by so many people because of their, well, no, that, you know, not when you enslaved actually, them, when no. you enslaved them, they became so productive. It was unbelievable. Well, no, so it's actually, it's actually, them... <laughs> it's actually amazing because the slave trade was actually an extremely important part of the triangle trade, and it actually would have been impossible without the black people there causing the slave trade and. Of course, like being the productive, people, the, the, the and they weren't blacks, enslaved. The noble blacks understood that the blacks were so good at being enslaved because they were so productive. But the minute you let them free, they become lazy. They become stupid. Hey, they become what, about the, what about the black people that were free society. that like had their own societies? What about all the black yeah, trading with they, Europeans? They, they, they enslaved with firearms. Their they enslaved their own. I mean, so have whites. I don't get it. what's your point. Get to your point. What's your point? Is that we need to bring back slavery. Why? <laughs> so that they do, so that they so that they become productive again. Can we make you the first slave mango? Would that be good for society? <laughs> yeah. The first productive members of society. So, so we can make you the first slave? Is that is that okay? No, I'm only talking about wax. Trust me, man. Because without it, then they're just lazy bums. So, so Mango, we, if we if we do a just, DNA test we, on you and show that you're actually like sixty percent black, wait, 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 what about you in slavery? What? No, we're not trusting DNA. We want our DNA. It's not an accurate <laughs> source of information. It's not an accurate source of information. So how do we determine if people are yeah, black? DNA is overrated. By, Look at the yeah, sun. By how, by how productive they are to to society. <laughs> so so if someone is not productive, we're just gonna independent of their skin color they just they must be black yes <laughs> and you're, what guys i've been sick for like i've been on like sick here in sweden for eight years so i feel like i dropped the m-bomb right now <laughs> holy shit <laughs> <laughs> must be a black person oh god wait 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 wait. but wait have you like turned on your television at all and like watched like football or like basketball or like anything I was gonna oh. say the black athletes like, like anything. They are so I... lazy when it comes to whatever <laughs> opportunities they are given. They are very lazy. Oh, they, like what? Do they... I get playing for the NFL? <laughs> yeah, they're extremely lazy, and that's why oh. they're not given positions of power or influence because they're lazy. They they mismanage oh. their financial oh. their finances. Uh... They mismanage their finances. Can you name me? They can you name me a single lazy. a single like like notable white athlete that became like. A, a huge position of power afterwards doesn't seem like seems like a general trend that athletes misuse their funds and like wait a minute jesse oh, no. ventura it's only, it's jesse only ventura the black come athletes. on only the black athletes that miss oh okay it's only them yes so what about the black guy who owns the 21 million billion dollar oil refinery in africa how did he how'd that happen what about Mansa musa again the well, how about black probably, people in rap music are the ones who usually like he's take the probably further someone who, again I, I mentioned there are two types there's the, the ones who are noble who understand responsibility and then the ones that are enslaved so it sounds like it's so it has sounds, nothing to do with them being black completely you, like separable like, just it, because it you're black is because doesn't 99, mean that you're lazy. 99 percent of them should be should be should be in chains that's what i'm saying Obviously, there has to be middle management, and that's where he fits in. So he's sort of like the guy who's like making sure that they're the, doing the what twenty-one doing. billion middle dollar management. middle management. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. He's like you know the Uncle Tom, basically. So okay. There has have, to you be forgot, have you ever gotten blood? Have you ever gotten blood before? I have, and if you're going to give this oh. stupid argument of everybody has the same blood, so therefore we're all the no, same. No, 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 no. I was just going to say, like... Okay, we have this guy with the shit on his nose. We're not the same, bro. I mean, genetically, bro. we're pretty similar, but... 
we're not the same. This is a stupid argument to make. Oh, we but have no, I was I, all, all I wanted is like if you've gotten blood before, like Varms is seen. orange. Why is Varms orange? The, the... Blood bank. Oh, sorry, my cam's not on. Never, I would yeah, never take blood from a black person. I don't want to be lazy. Can I ask something they to have, everyone? You don't even know. This is. Can I... uh, Wait, so, so if you take blood from a black person, you become lazy? Is that how it works? Is that you could like transfer yeah, blood? I don't want to be I don't want to be infected. This is a, he has made such a huge progress in like genetics. He knew like I found <laughs> yeah. the laziness gene within <laughs> yeah, blood that's crazy. that would take <laughs> What the dude publish this you, shit. You've isolated behaviors and genes? In blood, specifically in blood. Yeah, in blood. In blood. Wait, can we just, wait, can genes. I get a blood transfusion and like Go so back if, and be able so to graduate. If, if I steal Bill Gates' blood, do I like get smarter? <laughs> yeah, yeah no, do that's from how it the works. Pits of hell, mate. You're from the pits of hell. That's where you are. Uh, um, yeah. Question. Thank you question for the super for chat, Jacob. Everyone appreciate here. it. Go Sorry. ahead, Vimes. What's your question? Question for everyone here, but Mango, yeah. <laughs> but Mango. What percentage <laughs> of what he's saying do you think he actually believes? Uh, that's hard to get. One hundred percent. I believe it. One hundred percent. I think Mango I, is crazy enough to actually believe what he's saying. Yes. I, I think it's attention. I think it's purely attention. Well, that doesn't mean I he doesn't. Think, I mean, even it's if he not, wants attention, that doesn't mean argument. he doesn't no also way. believe what he's saying. So those aren't mutually exclusive positions. I, I get yeah. that, but he contradicts himself. But then again, is he clever enough to know that he's contradicting himself? How? It's kind how, of hard. Show me one. Show me one point where I've contradicted myself. You said all black people were lazy, and then when we pointed out specific examples, you you gotta walk that back. I said no, 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 the noble, lazy, the noble except, black. The noble all black, black people are. I said most. all black people are lazy, except for the ones who aren't lazy. Except for the ones that <laughs> point out. The ones that actually owe money or have wealth, they haven't built the wealth on oh. their own. They actually used other people to build it. You mean like how? You know. Uh, 90% of people do. <laughs> yeah, like most white Americans are able to because they have inheritance left by their families. Exactly. So you don't have to Which work to Black people money. have been denied that in America. Well, it's very hard to like they just get a rock and then start anything. building. Well, I mean, Look, considering mate, the generational start wealth. some chains around their necks and start getting them to work again, you know? Have you like, have you been outside your country? And the fact that you disagree with it is because you're, 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 you're weak. You're pathetic. Do you want him outside? I know you probably want him uh, far away true. from you, but well, do you I mean, really want him outside? If he's outside, it's higher likelihood that he'll get you know beat up for saying if that. I can, if I can answer that earlier question about how much we believe, like as a Scandinavian, this is like the extreme stereotype of the like conservative American we get. So I'm ready to believe this is true because this is like exactly the stereotype of someone who's like so racist but so dumb they don't understand <laughs> that they're either of it the american writer more racist? consistent than he is how am i racist yep, definitely. the dumbest thing ever you sound like a stupid t-jump hey hey, what, what, hey guys what, that's wait, a wait, generalization wait, wait, wait. here hey it's a generalization to say everyone on the right is more consistent than mango it's not always true not everyone on the right no. is more consistent no. <laughs> No. But genuinely, <laughs> Thank you. thanks for the super chat, Frank. Appreciate it. I love the hair. I also. think Americans on the right are analogous to yeah. Can we say generally people are more consistent than Mango? Probably, I think yes. generality in itself is more consistent <laughs> than Mango. Historically, yeah. black people were used to build civilizations. You know that. So so, so white people, people were used to build civilizations. Germanics, really. like, German, wait, 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 Germans wait. literally built Rome. Mango, can you name no, they a, a, they a use a bunch of black people? No, Mango, you know, you knew like even like European countries use white people to build civilizations as well. No, white people just do the designs and then they use people to actually <laughs> oh, so, so, it and do it. So, so white so, people didn't do anything; they just did the things. And some of the p countries had like slaves, but like no, 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 no. You, you haven't listened to what I said. I said they did the, they do the architecture and the design. But then the people that are picking up the stones and moving the stones around. So no stones were from. ever moved in Europe before black people arrived. No, no, definitely. Do you want to None. talk to me about no. Swedish history, Absolutely Mango? This not. would be really interesting. I'm not that well versed, but you're like so beyond not read on European <laughs> history. It's actually insane. <laughs> no. Holy fuck. 
Didn't you know all the English castles were built by slaves? Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. were all built by black slaves. Nearly every yeah, single one of them, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they were. Yeah, what Roman about castles. Eskimos, like ice, yep. ice, ice thingies, the big Eskimo ice thingies. And what if they, they, they weren't, they they weren't Igloos. 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 Were Igloos black, made by black people by... too? You do realize Italians are black and Spanish people are black. You do realize that. Italian? I'm black? <laughs> well, that's... No, <laughs> no that's just what... Wait, now you're walking into the definition of black, which is like the defini definition of black in America was not white. So like even Irish was black. They were Yeah, like... for a time. They were considered yeah, white. Yeah, exactly. And then they were... Then they were like normalized, so they were like, "Oh, never mind, they're white." Like exactly. that. That's what I'm that argument... to say is that that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Black is not a. It's not a. It's okay, do you want to show me the Italian slaves who built Sweden? Um, you're looking. Do you want to show me the Italian? One. There's one guy with a tattoo on his face. With oh, wings. so you like the? You're like the super like only only like <laughs> what is it? The Caucasus Mountains. You so the are Romans. straight from the Caucasus Mountains. You are not white. <laughs> but, you know, this whole thing about, like, the Vikings me, being hard-ass motherfuckers, shit, that's just bullshit. They sat in a... Why people don't build anything? They only design crap, and then they let, you know, some well, black person from West Africa to build it for them. If fun fun were... fact about the Vikings, they got invaded by the Eskimos, and the Eskimos kicked the Vikings' ass. Well, yeah, they're fucking Apparently, hardcore. all the Romans now are black, so it was... Yeah, they were. Well, was yeah, built apparently. <laughs> all the Romans are black. <laughs> Yeah, if they, Italians they are black, then then technically, <laughs> and I mean, my, the Greeks might as well be too. So I'm I'm they mostly are. black because I'm from Italy. I have Italian heritage. No, 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 T Jump, you're just autistic. Okay. Don't okay, T Jump. To, don't try so, to so wait, wait. If, if someone's autistic, does that mean they're not black anymore? They're like immune from. <laughs> from the pits of hell. Wait, so if you're they're born in West Africa and you have autism, you're not black. They're from the pits of hell. That's what you feel. Who's white then? So if Italians are French black. What about Germans? Where French where bit, where does French, the French French are queer white people? <laughs> queer um... white. Um. Wait 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 wait. Let me let me ask this. Do you think there's like a fundamental difference between like people, like inherently, like any significant like, significant difference between us is like. Animals. Well, I think there is clearly a significant difference between the people on the right side of the screen and the people on the left side of the screen. Yeah, I mean, if you just look at the black people in America, show me, show me a, a, a successful black neighborhood, please. I'm begging you. Well, actually, so the most successful black, uh, most successful group in America who's paid disproportionately is uh, immigrant Nigerians. They're actually more yeah, successful than literally well, no. everyone else. Well, no, surely the mafia, also... the mafia are Italian. They're quite successful. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they're black, true. so that works. <laughs> But the thing is, their success isn't. Wait, under that logic, New York was under. With New York had the lowest crime rates. <laughs> really, the lowest crime <laughs> rates under. Their black success rule. is not sustainable. It's not long term. Short term success. That anybody can achieve short term you, success. So, like seventy years is short term success. Like what? Yeah. In comparison to the average lifespan of a human, short. In comparison short -term? to others who have generational wealth, absolutely. <laughs> Are you just so, looking for any successful period where black people were? Black people aren't successful. It's impossible. Well, the, Roman of, <laughs> the Roman Empire was pretty successful. It's impossible. impossible for them. Have you, you ever heard of? Tassel. Have you ever heard of um, this wonderful man named Mansa Musa who was so rich that he toured around Europe and crashed the economy and crashed the worth of gold because he had so much. Yep. Exactly. They can't even. They they, they mismanage their finances. Or, you know, they, they can't even manage their own gold. No, I don't think no, you understand. So he was so rich that he was dumping shit everywhere. And, and he didn't even balance his checkbook exactly. throughout yeah. this. What the exactly. fuck? Exactly. They can't yeah. even manage. He their didn't own pay his council tax. He got. <laughs> exactly. They're mismanaging their finances. They destroy economies. That's what they do. Destroy. You know, so mango. being so rich in an economy, you like fuck up the balance. That is an argument is for black thing? people. How is that a good thing? That's wait, 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 wait. No, don't interrupt me. Let me fucking finish it. So no, being so rich, you... you got, no, you got rings. Yeah, I know. You can only add home with me because, because you're scared when I speak. You're scared when I speak. Why are you so scared of me? Because I have a fucking nose ring. What the fuck? I've called you on so many things. And every time I get to the point, you're like, nose ring? This? What the fuck? Take that shit out of your nose, motherfucker. You know, you're scared I'm vegan. I'll eat the fuck out of you. You're probably some <laughs> vegan autistic kid as well. I just said I'm vegan. What the fuck? Well, you're autistic, you so are. you're definitely not black now. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh, fuck. No, I already had my black card approved. I'm useless <laughs> to society. <laughs> Mine goes to like a magic eight ball. Wait, you ask me a question, it shakes it. If I know what comes out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. The times of slavery were the most populous, prosperous time in America. Really? Right before the invention of antibiotics where you could just die from a cold? Or now? The most prosperous time in America was during slavery. No. Well, based on what no. metric? No. And you can't disagree with that. <laughs> based on what metric? Based I'm not going to give the metric. And, le and the least prosperous time is when they were freed. W most really? prosperous based on what metric? Life expectancy, crime rates, a level of wealth, level crime of... Crime rates. Crime rates. Uh, crime rates. During the Civil War. Really? Uh, economic... Uh, economic what? Progress. Economic, economic progress. progress. During the Civil War. Yes. What was the economic the progress War. during the Civil War? Civil War is so, just a, an occurrence. Okay, you just you took yes, it's 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 the thing that time. happened during a time frame. What is the economic progress that happened during that time frame? Don't. That's just a little snippet of, you know, the past. The, <laughs> hey, you're calling the most prosperous point in our history. Wait, like I'm, I'm sorry. The, there's the so much shit going. The most oh, prosperous so point in history was during slavery, and you can't disagree with that. Yeah, yes, I can. Well, I, that's wrong. I just disagree well, with that. Well, I mean, considering that, like, if you got, like, a cut and it got infected, the option was A, die, or B, down a bottle of whiskey and have your doctor cut it off with a saw. That doesn't sound very good to me. It sounds like it's gotten a lot better since then. You have no freedoms. You're literally an autistic kid in front of a computer. Yes, who has no freedoms. I'm in front of a computer playing video games with no freedoms whatsoever. I'm enslaved. Yes. Yeah, well, that's why. Codes. Wait, aren't you? Was... Aren't you? Wait, aren't you also an autistic kid? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He doesn't have a webcam on, so we can't comment about his appearance. So we can't. We can't prove he's in front of a computer. We can't see him. You know. Oh, true. I don't know for a fact he's in front of a computer. One hundred percent. Well, I'm sure this he might wouldn't... still. I don't have I 100 saying, turnency. I don't have knowledge. I'm sure he wouldn't want to actually be you have faith. recognized have faith for his views. Really. Really. I have faith he's using a computer right now and not a... <laughs> the faith <laughs> we got by logic. Are you, do you guys believe in uh, evolution? No. Yeah. All right, so we got about four I minutes left uh, in the whereby thing before the whereby closes. So uh, after this, I'm going to move to the Discord for anybody else who wants to go to the after show and make fun of Mango more. Feel free, come to the Discord. I'll put the link oh, in the yeah. YouTube. Absolutely not. <laughs> Mango, you like if you need my numbers so you could like blame your mistakes on me because I have a nose string or anything. Like if you need to cope <laughs> even more in your life, you know I got you. I'm here for you. I don't think you need Mango to be Get there help, to make man. fun of him. Get help. Take that tattoo off your face. Take so the you don't you don't you don't live up. So no, you should not. wait. So you don't you don't you say you don't believe in everyone. Right? What do you do this shit? About, like, I'm the... so triggered by that. Do you have a... Oh, the wait, gauges? Is that, a hole in your... is that a hole in your ear? Yeah, I got my finger through it. He, it's, it's a sign of his... Uh, it's a slave mark. Yeah. Oh, he knows where he's supposed to go. Because I was so black. By your definition. The chains loop through. That's unbelievable. <laughs> the fact that we only have four minutes left, let me conclude by saying, bring back slavery. Let's bring it back. <laughs> Let's get this oh, country working again. Let's get it working. Let's get it functioning again. Which country? Let's get people. I hope you're not talking about America. I think it means I know worldwide, you're not from just worldwide slavery. Oh, he's, he's, just not, from, he's not from Europe. No way he's from Europe. He is so not on. He doesn't understand Europe at all. So he's not from Europe. Oh, he's Australian. He, I mean, he's an Aussie. If you look at the Middle East, right? Oh. They're actually using slaves from India to build their, to build their economy. So. You know, slavery is a good thing. Right? Yeah, and their really economies good. are. Yeah, their economies are really, really something to compare to to the 
if you don't, economies. if you don't bring back slavery, they're going to continue to kill each other and murder each other and live in quick ghettos. <laughs> so if they, they have slaves, they back. won't kill each other. Is that our slaves like? Yes. Oh. It will motivate them to take responsibility. Do you not think that like? Wait. Do you not? Do you think everything was like? There was no murder. Happen. During it's the period like, of slaves, no murder happened. There were zero murders. They are incapable of taking responsibility, and they need some other third party into Mango. I have a homework Man assignment for you, Mango. Mango. You need oh, to watch Django uncensored. No, I have a work assignment for you. How about you put yourself into a fucking psychiatric ward and remain there, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mango, I've got, I've got homework. Please write a history book and let no one edit it for you. Just, just <laughs> write it. Yes. Just write it straight. Let no one else see it. No one else touch it. Go on Google Docs it. and just stream of consciousness all of world history. <laughs> all right. That's hilarious. Meeting will, will end be. shortly. Thanks, guys, for joining the stream. Thanks for showing up in the, in the whereby. Appreciate it. Uh, Alvon Vimes, Tuss, Lawson, and Frank, and the other guys. Appreciate the joining the conversation i will you're you. invited to come back next time and i will see you guys and in the discord thanks out. everyone take care Good everyone slavery, guys ah the the mango yes oh, i love mango tea that's the worst part favorite kind of tea <laughs> favorite kind of tea <laughs> well he'll, as long as he pays me for debates i'm i'm okay with it it's attention seeking it's got to be oh yeah for it sure. has to be for sure for oh, sure someone can't physically hold those those views the same views and constantly in their head <laughs> surely I was only cooking dinner, and I just heard him when he went into the slavery thing. I was like, "Okay, mm. so no one's this dumb, right?" <laughs> well, I've got. I haven't I heard someone say something that edgy since high school. So, well, I think I put myself in a T jump trap where I watched like two of the stupidest debates, like the stupid opponents. Now YouTube just shows me the idiots <laughs> of, that you talk to. So, what was it, uh, Rick? Something that oh, I watched yeah. today. The physicist oh. guy. Yeah, he's not obviously so that guy who tricked the. Didn't he trick a load of? Um, he tricked Lawrence Krauss being in, into a documentary about geocentrism or something. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I watched him, and then I watched the Mango one the day before, and I was just <laughs> like, "Oh my god!" My favorite are when they say they wrote a book, you know, because that makes them like experts in the field. That's just when I. That's what. That's basically when I'm like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I don't think Rick is a physicist. Uh, he he is not actually a physicist. He wrote a book and did a documentary with an actual physicist that he like worked with, but he he isn't one. Uh, is he like he's one of those guys who finds a physicist from like who hasn't practiced for like fifty years and then gets yes. Into the right stuff? yes yeah those kinds. Of you mean like science can like get better and change if I don't look at it for fifty years? <laughs> No, are Darwin. That, are you Darwin's... saying evidence has changed since I went to college in the nineties? No, don't, don't you know evolution has been debunked. Darwin was debunked because it's my mom. My mom is a biologist who went to school during the time where they like didn't teach evolution. I guess so. That's this is, this is fun. A biologist who doesn't believe in evolution. Hey, uh, T jump. So I was going to ask you about Eric Sampson. Uh, yes. How would you how would you uh, summarize that debate or like what? Because I was I was kind of lost in that debate on like what you were trying to get through to him. So, do you uh, remember or? Yeah, that was the one where we were talking about morality, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, morality. Yeah, I was essentially arguing for against his view of morality, essentially taking the subjective morality approach more or less. And, oh, I see. Yeah. And he made, he was using the worst arguments for moral realism. Like, I don't agree with the philosophical literature's arguments for morality in that, at least the theistic ones, that it's like intuition, blah, blah, blah. He said something about independent, uh, stands independent 
Do you, you remember that? Or? Yeah, it's independent. Uh, about, no, I don't remember the specific context. Okay. Yeah, so that was interesting, I guess. So, yeah. Job speak. What? It's the after show, man. Got to drive this. Speak the truth, brother. I'm speak lazy. The, the point of the after show is for everyone else to drive this, so I can just play my video game. Be lazy. Okay. okay. Well, I guess I can start off. I mean, Mango did have some points. Like, <laughs> slavery was the backbone of American industrialization. It did fund it directly. So it was prosperous in many ways to American Southern farmers. But it wasn't just in any way. I think we can agree on that, right? Because that's history. Sure, I guess you can make money with slaves. That is definitely a thing. Yeah, and it was what led to America being number one in in the world, really, without uh, slavery. Not really, not really. Not really. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, what, what, like, how else would he, would we have reached the, the natural resources, agriculture? Um, yeah, but coal, there was gas. no paid labor that would have. Yeah, there is. That's it, as far as slavery. Yeah, there is. Like people were being paid to do that as soon as slavery ended. Yeah, but production wasn't nearly the same. It wasn't comparable to the South. It, Con production. Is what drove That's funding for industrialization. Pineapple was wasn't slavery rampant or across the world at the time. Um, like what century? Nineteenth. Uh, yeah, it's like slavery wasn't just present in the U.S. No, it wasn't present in the U.S. But what we used it for cotton production was um, what drove our economy at the time. But also, well, like, you gotta, you gotta understand the culture. Yeah, my point is good. Like, but like so many people going from Europe to America and like the way that the culture then uh, appeals to way more people in, in Europe and how that has like both glorified America from the European scene and how uh, right. the American culture has been like such a good export. So no, um, we could have just paid people to do it. We didn't need slavery. Slavery did build economic help, but it was not required. Um, but what I mean, it wasn't it, I mean, was our it was com economic support without con production, we wouldn't have reached where we were because that's what provides, yes, like, we in would the have, South. yes, we would have. So, we would have had other people who were paid to do the job, like, slavery was not in any way required to do any of that. No, but it would drove us as quick as we did to become what, where we are now. It's because no, it's like, it wouldn't it, have changed the speed. No, slavery was completely was undermined by the industrial revolution. The Industrial oh, Revolution was funded directly by slavery through con production. Yeah, but it would, could have been funded by anything, so it would not have changed economic we have success. Any other exports that were comparable to con production. It doesn't matter. We could have literally paid people to do the work. We didn't need the slaves. The slaves, most we, we slaves were owned by them. like a small number of people. Like most work in America was not done by slaves. It was a very, very small percentage. Well, you can look at England. Well, with the, I mean, um... you can look at the diversity of work, but con production was basically managed by slavery. Which could have been managed by anybody else. So the, the slaves there were not the determining factor in the success, no. Well, England had got rid of the slave. Uh, well, basically, slaves nearly completely by the time we got to the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, definitely. So, England became more aligned before America. A lot of Europe became more aligned before America. Yeah, but what but I was meaning... Say, England advanced pretty well without the slavery, so surely sure, you could see in a sure, bigger way that America weren't heavily could have on labor, like con picking, right? So I would say that is because through direct slavery, where we didn't have to pay our laborers, is how we funded the Industrial Revolution, which then undermined our... Uh, no, because itself. the uh, uh, Industrial Revolution happened in the North, too, with no slaves. Yeah, but it was funded through... The no, it wasn't. That, no, it was literally Congress. false. Yeah, it no, was literally exactly. not funded by, the, by slavery, no. What was, our, what was it funded then? By, by all of the other thing things we were making. Time. Slavery was not the primary source of the GDP of that time period. Well, okay, so 19th century, could you give me the biggest export? Exports don't matter here. The GDP, what funded the revolution, wasn't exports. Okay, okay, okay. So besides con production, could you give me a certain 
Agriculture and food was, was the biggest one. Um, Agriculture and food, okay. I, <laughs> I still don't understand how that's even comparable to how con producing made much more than any of that. It didn't. I mean, that was our that's, biggest, that's literally our biggest not... money maker in the 1970s. You wouldn't, but you wouldn't even need you wouldn't even need the actual funds at that time if you could take an in, like investment out to buy this these, this capital that will <laughs> outperform all of your slaves. Like any bank will give that loan. So again, it doesn't seem like slavery makes money. no difference. You would make equally as much money with no slaves and just hiring people to do the work, which is what they did. Slave the cottons didn't go away. Our cotton production did not go away as soon as slavery ended. Sure, it didn't, but what, it's, it's not meant to emphasize whether it went away or not. No, no, your like, argument that, it, that undermines your yeah, argument. It completely efficiency. debunks your entire argument. So if we can still get as much that. cotton production with no slavery, then the slavery part is irrelevant to the cotton production or the, the amount of money we make or the way that we fund the Industrial Revolution. All those things could have happened independently of the slavery because cotton production was still happening without the slavery. Yeah, but it wasn't done nearly as efficiently. No, it was done more efficiently. That's where we went to the Industrial Revolution. Oh, yeah, when you funded it through. Okay, yeah, but the funds directly came from our con exports. I mean, I don't understand how. Yes, that's... which could have happened like, without are, the slave. So it literally makes no difference. What you're saying is literally okay, stupid. Said, no, but what you're saying is, oh, we didn't need slavery. Yes, to we didn't. Con production and whatnot. We could have been paying laborers, right? Yes. Okay, sure, that's fine. It is, was a lot more expensive to hold slavery here in America. But the efficiency is what was the deciding factor. It no, was there was no. It, it wasn't the the demand yes, was the was. deciding factor. It was not the efficiency. Like efficiency means they yeah, didn't make as much money for the owners. No, no. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop free. talking, or I'm going to mute you. Okay, 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 bro. So go ahead, go ahead. As I said, like the the supply and the demand is the deciding factor. Cotton mills were still making money by paying people without the industrial revolution. They were still making money and still exporting things without slaves. You don't need the slaves for any of that. So literally, your argument is debunked. Like, no, we could do it all without the slaves. Would they have made slightly less money? Sure. Would that have made it unprofitable? No. Slightly less money. Yes, which isn't the problem. Like, you literally don't need to be super I, wealthy. I, I wouldn't think it would be slightly less money. I think it would be quite significant. No, it's not. Because guess what? Yeah. They were still making profit after slavery, so it's not significant. Yes, of course they were making profit after slavery. There's no argument. So your that. argument just got destroyed. The argument wasn't destroyed. It was that the yes, your argument was literally destroyed. Electric. You don't need obscene profits in order to fund the Industrial Revolution. You don't need obscene profits to make uh, exports of cotton. You don't need obscene profits to do any of that. Your entire no, dumb no, argument is, oh, they weren't making obscene profits. Oh, driven. no. How quick we reached the Industrial Revolution. It was Which had it was absolutely no difference there. No difference. We didn't fund no it as idiot. We oh, my God. It has nothing I just to do with funding you. and everything to do with discovery. Not necessarily discovery. Yes, every yes. We, you can yes. discover. Okay, you can discover plenty of things. Doesn't mean you have the funds to support. No, you idiot. You you the rest dumb. Of the world you was dumb already idiots. industrialized. You dumb yes, idiot. It wasn't the, the, the people course, who yes, stopped we were talking. Trying okay. to catch up. Okay. We were playing server catch. muted. Dumbass. Dumbass. The cotton people didn't invent any of this shit. The scientists did, and it weren't funded by the cotton farmers. The cotton farmers put their money in big mansions and shit. No, dumbass. The cotton farmers making them seed money did not in any way infect the Industrial Revolution at all. Dumbass. These things had already existed and were already invented all over the world, and people then transferred the technology to different places. None of it was funded by the cotton farmers. Dumbass. Literally irrelevant. Next topic. Thank you for the super chat, uh, God420. I missed the server. <laughs> God is crying, uh, Scotty. You, Your fault. Job, I just wanted to uh, thank you for the tip you gave one time about the blood donations. The what donations? For, yeah, for money? For plasma? Oh, plasma? yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the yeah, super plasma OG. donation. Yes. Actually ridiculous how much money you can make, depending where you are. Yeah, it's like a thousand bucks a month is what I'm making. Oh, and if yeah, you have yeah. a referral bonus, you get like an extra 200 or something. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get people to go, but every time I try to mention like, you know, plasma for money, they're like, but why would you give your body? And I'm like, <laughs> money. And it helps people. Who cares? Hey, uh, T Jump, do you have to pay taxes on that money or is it yes. like under? Okay. Of course you have to pay taxes on that. Unless you make under $12,000 a year, then you don't. 
But you wasn't that like a thing that changed because at first you didn't have to pay taxes at all because it was like con considered charity or something? That's uh, what I was wondering. I don't think so. Oh, I'm talking like old, old, like 15 years ago or something. I have no idea how it worked 15 years ago. Damn, dude, you gotta get more old school. I was 15, 15 years ago. It was, or actually, I was like 20, 15 years ago. 18? Yeah, I was 12, and I'm, I was atheist in the fuck out of YouTube. Amazing atheist? Holy shit. <laughs> Apparently, there was like... Oh, go for it, man. Oh, no, go for it. No, I was just going to say, apparently there was like a whole community on on uh, YouTube back in the day, like a Google Plus community. I, I just, I don't know if you heard about that, Tom, but I don't know. Huh? Apparently they they would what jump on it? there and talk about, yeah, they would they would jump on there and talk about like, they called it the Great Debate, Steve McRae's thing, you know? Yeah, I know so. that. What about the Great Debate? No, I'm just saying that they used to have like uh, a whole bunch of people on YouTube that would talk about the Great Debate and all that. So, yes, I remember that. What about was there something you were gonna say about them? No, no, no. I was just like, it was. It's interesting that they, uh, that they, they used. To, I don't know why they fizzled out. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I don't know. I, I was just bringing it up. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it was the uh, that uh, what's it? Uh, Google Hangouts got debunked, got destroyed. They yeah, di di got discontinued. destroyed. Right. That's right, why. Right. That's why it got ended. Would you have been part of that? You think? I Did was. You know, for... I didn't care about it, but I was in it. Oh, okay. Hey, Tom. Hey. Keep telling you not to talk to those people like that retarded Aussie dude. It's gonna rot your brain. He paid me, so. Um, oh, okay, for sure. <laughs> um, what do you think about uh, retributive justice? Retributive justice, like or revenge. Maybe I didn't say it right. Yeah, like the concept that um, punishment over like uh, rehabilitation, sort of. I think it's completely counterproductive. So did Manga just pay for the abuse? Yes. Like BDS, it's basically BDSM then, really. What's well, the the it's attention paid. thing? He wants attention, and so he pays me to get on my YouTube oh, channel. He, he definitely does. It's just I just find it weird to just make up stuff for attention. But I guess. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I wouldn't call him a po. I don't think he's like making it up. I think he generally believes the stupid things he says. Oh, it worries me. If I were you, Tom, I would raise the price and see how much you can get out of one. <laughs> so, like, regarding him being a po, I feel like if you watched a bunch of, of Kent Hoven and shit, this feels like if Kent Hoven is the one who has read and studied about this his entire life, I feel like Mango is like the one who hasn't read anything and just heard him talk and felt like, yeah, that <laughs> dude is the one. <laughs> mm. I just find it weird when someone's got so many abhorrent and ridiculous views, you always feel like they're inventing them because they're just trying to be kind of. I don't know. I feel like there's some form of like, uh, I don't know, coherency in the, not that they're coherent in itself, but I can like see the entire string they're coming from of this like white Jesus savior thing. <laughs> <laughs> You found the consistency in Mango. It is literally Jesus is white. That is his whole fucking worldview. I swear to God. Well, there is some Australian. Is it Australian? I think there's some very weird Australian religious people who there's certain cults. I think if I remember.
Uh, TJ, I have a very important question. Yeah. When are you playing Elden Ring? Um, after I finish this game. Okay, good. This is what I like to hear. I'm currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon whatever. Oh, the Horizon. Mecha me, Robot Animal. Yep. Journey to the West. Something that like that. Starts with it's like F something. So Horizon F something. Future forward something. Forbidden West. That's it. Yeah, yeah, Forbidden West. Hey, uh, T Jump, when you get Elden Ring, can you start streaming that if you if you can or? Sure. That's supposed to be harder than Dark Souls. So let's see if it's actually a challenge for you. That doesn't sound at all true. I mean, Dark Souls isn't even hard, but like an open world game where you can literally just run around and pick up all your like upgrades does not sound difficult. But that's what I've been hearing. I haven't played it yet. I just take it from someone who went full in, full full magic. I just stand still and fire a laser. Yeah, that's about right. I played all the Dark Souls games, so. Thank you for the Super Jet, Jacob. The chair will repay each person according to what they have done. <laughs> uh, jump 1450. You can literally get an item in that game that, like at the start of the game, that can one shot everything. Oh, God. Yeah, open world games like that have the problem of uh, since there's no uh, structure to when you can pick up the equipment, as long as you know where it is, you can just walk to where the best equipment is, pick it up, and then just kill everything in the planet. But some of the later bosses will still murk you. Yeah, they don't play around. They even give you, like, the, the... You're, like, supposed to summon stuff to help you, and even when it helps you, like... You're still, like, even when you're in a 2v1, it's still impossible. Well, Matt, since it's Dark Souls, it's just memorizing the uh, attack patterns and dodging, and then you kill everything. Yeah. The only problem yeah, is they, the... They make, when they make them ridiculous. I don't think any of them are ridiculous. I think the, the reason they are hard is because they're animations are unintuitive so it doesn't it's not obvious which way you're supposed to dodge by watching the animation you kind of just have to like test it and figure it out and that's really what makes the dark souls games harder that and the stupid uh stamina bar which is totally pointless stamina management is garbage and makes the game not fun it's I'm never the fun to the, i'm looking forward to the elden ring speed runs that will be the shit I think they already exist. Oh, they've done, done like 30 minutes. Hell yeah. You can literally just walk and go to like... <clears throat> it's just like uh, Breath of the Wild. You can just literally go finish the game if you want. You don't have to collect all the sacred powers or whatever. You can just go end the game. Well, the... the... Well, the Breath of the Wild speedruns are pretty cool, though. Uh, I'm just gotta say, like, the whole mechanics of, like, flying away on trees and shit, like, that's pretty interesting. And, it's, like, the thought behind it is still, like, very respectable, I feel. I'm not, I don't really like speedruns. Like, I kind of find them boring. Watching them are okay sometimes. It depends on my mood. Yeah, agreed. Like, I, don't, I don't watch them like I watch gameplay. There's a whole speedrun community out there. They get together and they do speedruns, so... It is amazing. Yeah. The guy, like, beating the Mario 64 speedrun who's crying and his parents run into his room. That clip is, like, the best shit on the internet. Personally, I like watching speedruns of Sonic games just because they're all broken, all of them. So it's just like somebody running through the map and the game just ends. What are you talking about? They are so totally balanced. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I prefer yeah, Ninja Gaiden. Classic Gaiden. NES speedruns like uh, Ninja Gaiden. I like how uh, the Retro Runner recently beat Arcus's like five year long lasting uh, speed record of Ninja Gaiden. That was a pretty, pretty cool achievement. So the 10k subs was the pink hair. At what amount of subs do you do Sonic 06? At what? Sonic 06 is like the most broken game in the world. <laughs> uh, smell, just get, pay me enough money and I will do it. I don't think there is enough money. I already went through this. I'm, I'm... Oh, you were a game tester though. Never mind. Yeah, I used to be top 10 on Ninja Gaiden 2 in the world, so. Oh, so, uh, you must know what I'm talking about in terms of speedrun world records of Ninja Gaiden 1, right? Yeah, I've seen that, where there's the, the final boss, uh, the big spirally 2D thingy, forget his name. Yes, I've seen yeah, those. That's, that, that's where everyone loses their time, right, at the final uh, two bosses. Yeah. But I liked Stingy Gaiden 2 better than the, the, oh, damn it, the 2D ones. I didn't like the 2D ones as much. I liked the 3D ones. Anyone here ever play the Diablo games? A long time ago. Yeah. Yes, one, two, and three. I like those games. Those are good. Hey Tom, so what do you think about Barack Lowry? What about him? Uh he was essentially like the precept level, I guess. Nice guy overall, I guess, but weird arguments. Hey Tom, do you think arguments can ever be a, a justifiable reason to actually you accept the need to both like believe like a belief in a god because it seems like arguments can always be somewhat justified but arguments seem to need to be supplemented with evidence eventually to get to a point where you can differentiate it. yeah i don't think any because arguments are a form of analytic conceptual evidence so arguments can be good evidence for things like um conceptual math logic whatever but never for things that you think are outside of your imagination for that, you're going to need some premises in the argument that have to be verified through, like, science or whatever. So it can't be verified through the argument itself. It has, you have to have some independent way to verify it. I mean, that seems to be a fundamental issue with apologetics, where arguments is the only thing they have. But like you said, arguments are only valid with things like mathematics or conceptual things. But, like, if you want to demonstrate that something exists in reality, like, a, you mm. know, God that cares about it that's walking on planet earth or whatever like you need some sort of other evidence that like it it, it, it never seems to be presented by any apologists yep so mango just asked in youtube chat that he would want to get on the discord okay well i unbanned him so he should be able to join well, then join Michael. I think Scotty reported him to Discord to try and get him permaban from all of Discord. I don't know. That might have happened, so I don't know. Yep. I missed it. What happened? Uh, Scotty reported Mango to Discord to try and get him permanently banned from all of Discord. What did he do? Uh... I think he was saying the n-word or something 
I don't remember. <laughs> I was mildly yeah. concerned that um, the things he was saying were going to get you like booted from YouTube. I don't think so. Uh, I wasn't sure what their TOS is, but I just like when he was like, "Black people should be in chains again." I don't know. I'm not sure what YouTube's uh, TOS is, but. I don't mean Hake is still on YouTube, so I think they're pretty lenient. As long as you don't like say the N word, I think you're fine on that part. Hey, hey uh, T Dub, would you ever debate um, Jesse Lee Peterson if you haven't already? Sure. <laughs> that would probably be entertaining as hell. I'd love to go on his show and do a JLP interview. Dude, he's <laughs> hilarious. Like, and not on purpose, Freedom. but. But, but do, do you, Tom? Do you love black people? <laughs> nope. So I'm gonna say too. Would you like nope? He's gonna be like, "Oh, that's okay." <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Tom, you have pink hair. That that's a girl's hair color." <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody saw when Destiny debated him, but he's like, "Destiny, that's a girl's name." <laughs> Jess, but isn't Jesse also a girl slide? No, we're not. He calls Donald Trump the, the great white hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's always a good sport. Whenever people meme on him, like, like he's such a meme and people meme on him, he's he always, like, laughs at it he's true i think i think that's why i think a lot of leftists or people that disagree with him like being on a show because it's never like toxic or comfort like you know it, it, it <clears throat> just laugh right you know well, i don't know he could say some pretty not really shit but yeah i think there are some people he's kicked off actually it came a couple of times oh, he has yeah oh, oh shit Maybe. yeah I, I mean, I mean, how, how who would he kick off? Like, I don't remember. Was it, like, Des I think he kicked off. It was either Hassan or Destiny, one of the two. No, not Destiny. No. Wait, did well, he kick off MLZ? Yeah, but I think it was because they were like losing their shit. Like, if you can just be calm and like not freak out over the stuff he's saying, he's not going to kick you off. Yeah, but that, when Destiny was on, he was just laughing and having a good yeah. time. He wasn't like, yeah. But, but the thing I like is that, like, Destiny, Dylan Burns, and Vosh all have said that he is, like, the exact same person off scene as he is on screen. Like, he is the exact same person. And I just love that idea. Yeah, I kicked up David Pac Man. Thank you, Udev. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. He David Pacman isn't the type to like get angry, so I'm he probably sure is a troll. No, so, but David Pacman is the one who's keep straight to the arguments. So the, yeah, the yeah, fact they... that he kicked David probably means he was making good points or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's David, exactly what happened. David, he, David he might hold his to the he, fire. Nah. David gets serious, but like you know, like he, he'll be like, you know, I'm not memeing anymore. Like here, here's some serious point I want to make, but he never gets mad. Like. Insulting. I can't think he's ever been insulting for just <laughs> He a he did ask uh, Destiny if he was autistic, and I didn't get the sense it was in like a caring, friendly kind of way of asking. That's pretty ironic, seeing you know, as though he has like a weird ass speech impediment, though. <laughs> yeah, and I've noticed that like on a lot of Discord servers and like most uh like twitch platforms and stuff the r like retard it's, it's a banned word but now everyone just says autistic like in place of it like that's well, some kind of insult well it's like, i didn't that's realize that there was a very friendly the... way to ask if they were autistic i think that was always meant as like a like shitty ad hominem attack yeah, yeah it's yeah, like exactly like when, when has destiny ever like taken a like, oh my god, I'm so offended that he called me out to like, like, he's just gonna laugh at that shit. Well, I just can't stand the hypocrisy on some platforms where they think that, like, by not saying the R word and saying autistic instead, they're, like, they're, like, being more sensitive somehow when the sentiment is the same. 
Well, that's how all language mm-hmm. works. They ban one word and then they just use a different word to mean the same thing. Yeah, but 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 it's, it yeah. is completely different. Retarded can mean like a, like a learning disability, while autistic is not. It could be just a social like interaction disability, where and you can be very intelligent and autistic. Like it, it can mean completely different things, right? So. <laughs> Well, the point well, is, is that the way it's used in society is that, uh, like, being the our retarded doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing in any way. It's just a mental condition, and so uh, similar to being autistic, it's just a mental condition. But because it's used in a way that is derogatory and has become uh, a derogatory term, that's why it's seen as bad. Kind of like the N word. It's because people use it in society in a way too mean bad and that's why it's banned and now they're because, just transitioning you're, to a different you're word acting in a way that's a choice and even and it's not i mean that that's one of the problems right like being autistic or like you know having a learning disability is not a choice but the insult is meant to be taken as like you're acting in a way that you're choosing to be stupid on purpose well i don't think it matters like i think it's just because it's meant to be derogatory and that's literally n- nothing else matters that because it's, if it's just meant to be derogatory then they ban it and then as long as society accepts that and sees it as derogatory then it becomes like a bad thing like the okay hand symbol that's now been associated with the far right because of 4chan and now that's banned by many different oh you're using a far right symbol like that's but, so but I mean, stupid. don't you agree that like certain mental illnesses should just be like obviously once we understand what they are, like you shouldn't be used it as a this term. this reminds me of a couple of different conversations I've had with people where they have trouble distinguishing the difference between an insult and an ad hominem. And I've had to explain this to a bunch of people, like what the difference is. Like you can insult somebody and still make a point. And it's not an ad hominem attack. Yeah, but why like, something you're not in control of an ad hominem? Like, if you're autistic or you're suffering like a, you know, learning disability or your certain skin color, how can that ever be an ad hom? Right, like an ad hom. Well, can it, any be- anything can be an ad hom. Like any ad hom is just any word that is meant to be derogatory. It doesn't actually matter whether or not it's an insult or not. Like saying gay, there's literally nothing wrong with being gay, but it's seen as an ad hom. Or, or a neg because of how society but, but treats it. It's changing, right? Like, how, how many people think, like, uh, calling someone gay is a good ad? Well, no, they all change. change. That's how they language works. Change. It's all changing. Like, it doesn't they matter. The, the meaning of the word yeah. literally has no impact on whether or not it's an ad home. Like, most, well, most I, curses I had nothing to do with what they actually mean. Like, F you, the was... F word is it literally was not an insult back in, like, the... No, 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 but it did. It yeah. does matter what it meant. Like, like, 20 years ago, like calling someone gay, like there was a reason why that was an ad hominem. Well, I, I always thought that an the, what an ad, ad hominem was, was when you're in an argument and you say you're wrong because you're an idiot. Like it, it, it's attacking the argument by trying to attack the argument and say the argument is wrong because the person is an idiot or whatever. <clears throat> but and, it can be more nuanced than that. They can also, <clears throat> like, they can also just bring up like the, the insult as a way of derailing your argument and not actually declare that that your argument is wrong because yeah, of the insult wrong, yeah. it's yeah, still I an can, ad it's just an implied ad hominem instead of an explicit one yeah there's there's two things there like one if someone says like if you if you say your argument's wrong because of x y and z you idiot and then they accuse you of using an ad hom that would be wrong it would be an error to yeah. accuse you of an ad hom if you address their argument and then insulted somebody but if someone just right. insults you you can, you can say yeah that's an ad hom if they just like you're an idiot well, that's an ad hom it's perfectly fine to use it in that context yeah, that's Originally, exactly what I was trying to do. It was used ad, as an ad hominem. It wasn't just calling someone stupid. It was literally thinking someone that was gay is a terrible person. Couldn't you also I mean, say, that, like... That, that context needs to be taken... The, the, the historical context of ad hominem slurs needs to be taken into account. I don't think so. It's like the whole like cracker debate. Like cracker is banned on <laughs> Twitch now, and like Hassan's dumbass so is like it's not an insult because cracker used to mean like whip cracker, like the white slave drivers. So it's I think not he's offensive. Just when he says that, he's just I, no. I think he's completely moronic. Like I think he, Hassan is just stupid. 
Mind you, I don't think he's stupid, therefore his arguments are dumb. I think his arguments are what makes him stupid. Well, he is <laughs> literally, kind of literally his arguments just affect his brain chemistry and just make him stupid. Yes, there you go. Yep. Imagine the arguments you're going to have if you're someone like Hassan and have like a hundred thousand like viewers while you're streaming on Twitch and you're a multi-millionaire. You're not going to think you're wrong very often, right? Like just the fact they have so much popularity, you're going to assume you're correct. Like it, it's kind of, it, it's kind of his popularity is feeding his like understanding of how intelligent he is when he makes these things and that's not really Hassan's fault that's kind of a fault of the entire feedback loop that he's uh, part of what was that Roman emperor that had someone that followed them everywhere and just reminded them that they're just a man does anybody know who I'm talking about Excuse me. like they were so worried about what what the phenomenon you just mentioned that they had someone just follow them around and say, remember, you're just a man. That's what some people need. I don't want to, th when I think of that, I'm thinking of Cicero, but he was never an emperor. He was uh, just a statesman. Maybe it wasn't an emperor. Maybe it was just somebody super high. I don't remember. Yeah, didn't it used to, didn't it used to be a tradition in America to pick your like running mate uh, when you're running for president from the opposite party? So you're like the opposing views are represented. I think it's similar. Yeah, something like that. A lot of people are saying that's why uh, Putin has the mentality he does because he surrounds himself with yes men. Well, fans. They have no choice but to say yes. Right. Wouldn't it be based if we had a kind of policy where like the the person needed to take a running mate from the opposite party. I, I think that'd be actually pretty cool. I've heard that idea too. Like you have to have uh, a Democrat and Republican vice president and president or vice versa, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I think we then, need like, more than two parties. I also think that a uh, decentralized policy making platform is a really good idea. I don't feel like it would benefit anything to like get someone from the other party unless you actually they were going to help you uh, do the things you wanted to do. So, because if they aren't going to help you, then it's counterproductive. Sorry, yeah, guys. The value of optics nowadays seems to be so important that that alone would be, you know, just having a Hey, stop banging. Whoever's banging, stop it. Sorry, I'm at work. Mute yourself. We just need a president that's gonna like do the shit they say they're gonna do. That would be nice. Well, I mean, the problem is. Bernie would have done what he said. Well, the problem is the that's Senate the and the House. Problem. Like, in order to do anything, you have to be able to get it through the Senate and the House, uh, and that's the problem. With the filibuster, is a huge problem. We need to get rid of the filibuster, um, and that will allow more stuff to get passed. But even then, we still need a way to get rid of. Uh, special interests in lobbying to get rid of the money out of politics so they can actually pass something and not be worried about it being getting backlash from the people who are in charge or who give them money. So there's lots of different problems that we have to overcome in order to make the government not a useless pile of crap. Yeah. Yeah, like companies like Core Civic that lobby in the government for anti crime bills. What do you guys think about the concepts of a, of a decentralized policy platform using something like blockchain technology? I would not be necessarily <laughs> think that's a good idea because, again, we have a majority of like or we had recently a majority of Republicans. So it would not necessarily be a great idea. I got a great view tonight, guys. 
A great what? A great view. Yeah. Sky. Are your neighbors having sex with the curtains open or something? <laughs> no, I I work solar. Oh, and, cool. Uh, I'm out in a state site and uh, I'm working on the panels all night long. And the sky looks beautiful. I plan on apprenticeshiping with an electrician to learn how to do that because I, I install roofs and shit's definitely the future. A lot of these materials are really cheap and uh, a lot of it, there's a lot of plastic parts too, so it's kind of not as clean as they like to say it is. Yeah, I mean, how, how do sore roofs respond to hail? Um, these these panels are pretty tough, to be honest. They can they can withstand some pretty good hail impacts. There's there's different uh, brands. There's like, you know, LG. I don't think LG makes them anymore, but um, you know, a lot of them are Chinese made. They have Chinese lettering all over them, but they're uh, the glass on one side is pretty thick. This side I'm on is, I think it's like a, it's a little over 10 megs, 10 megawatts. So it'll power a nice, nice small town. What do you guys think the future of clean energy is? Uh, I, I don't think there's ever one answer. That's the problem with anyone that tries to give a solution to clean energy. Things like solar, or depending on certain like longitude, latitudes of planet Earth, hydro depends on certain geographic regions. Nuclear power is good in certain areas. You don't want to maybe a nuclear power plant right on a fault line. Uh, uh, things like oil and yeah. gas might be very good in a northern climates that don't have other options. I think there's not one singular solution for the future. I think I think everything needs to be implemented depending on the climate, environment, economic situation, everything. Everything needs to be taken into account. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I'm pretty sure the one a... solution to clean energy is a solar sphere. Uh, I, I think there's a no, lot of... No. Um, the best clean energy uh, would be artificial photosynthesis. Yeah, I thought about the um, you know, Cody's lab. Uh, I love his channel, by the way. Um, he he did an experiment where he's been doing energy generation using algae, and um, I don't know. I think that's something in the future where we could go a long ways with that. You know, using algae photosynthesis to create energy. Not very practical now, but extracting energy from algae seems akin to something like you know fusion energy or things that right now we're currently you know like the input is outweighing the output, so you know we don't have the technology involved to actually extract energy where it's efficient, but maybe eventually, hopefully. Oh, and one thing, uh, so I don't know who said it earlier. Somebody said about the longitude, latitude of solar sites. Solar. This site actually, um, there's a, they're, they've been inventing a lot of new uh, innovations to improve efficiency on these sites. And this site has a sun tracking system. So the entire table of panels rotates it, it has a light sensor so so, so, hope, so so the hope is that the energy required to move the panels to respond to the sun is better than what it takes to actually do that right like yeah it's actually yeah, it's, it's not like output. the motor the motor that turns the table is not actually hooked up to the main uh sequence of panels on the table it's hooked up to a side panel and the motor is designed on a very, I don't know what you would call it, a, a, a gear ratio that 
has a lot of torque, but it doesn't require much energy and it slowly turns throughout the day and it follows the sun. So you get maximum efficiency. I mean, maintenance would also have to be taken into account, right? Like, oh, yeah. Every year, would you have to like oil it, grease it, bring people over to... No, actually, the, the, the motor is actually, um, it's it's encased in like solid, uh, you know, it's a whole, the whole thing is um, encased in steel. So it's like self-lubricating. It's, uh, let me look at it here. Yeah, the whole thing is designed to, it's solid. It's solid. It's not, you know, you can't even really take it apart. We just need a Dyson sphere. Mm. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what I said. I mean, I'm wondering, um, is it true that we have to be carbon neutral by 2050? For what? To like, to not die. To like, or stop animals. the effects of, uh, Climate change well, or no, we're already past the point where we can stop the effects. It's going to happen, but it's not going to like destroy the planet. All right, we overdo it. Make it so like we, can't, we can't stop any. Like the worst effects are like already inevitable. We're actually experiencing the effects right now, right? So yeah, it's, it's, it's like, already happening. Just, just like Teacher said, like you can't stop it because we are con we are actually experiencing it today. Yeah, so it, it, yeah, yeah. Last summer, last summer we uh, I live in upstate New York, and our summers they usually only get up to like high seventies, mid eighties. And last summer we were getting one hundred and five degrees up here near near the Adirondacks, and that's I've the the hottest summer before that I'd ever experienced in my life was like ninety something degrees up here. And last year it was the hottest it's ever been up here. There was people. There was a couple deaths, heat stroke, and everything. It happened in. I think that happened in India too, like three years ago. It happened like 120 degree days. Republicans are still gonna close their eyes and plug their ears to it all. Did you guys see that movie on uh, Netflix? Don't look up. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it. Is it really good? It's pretty good, yeah. It's kind of depressing at the end. Because you, cause then you, you realize that's probably how it would go down. Yeah. <laughs> I love the uh, the portrayal of, um, what's his name? God, the, the guy that created the cell phones and shit. Oh, uh, Elon, uh, are you talking about Steve Jobs? Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be Elon Musk. No, I don't... No, it's that's a not it Musk. was a combination of everyone. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I got from it. <laughs> like the the brooding genius that thinks he's fucking, you know, everything's about marketing. <laughs> and then when well, he got I'm questioned, from... he... Huh? Oh, I was just saying that where I'm from, we last year, or maybe it was the year before, we broke our all time uh, record for high temperatures by like 12 degrees. Yeah. Oh, you guys see that? They're supposed to be uh, the East Coast is getting a spider infestation. Spider? Yeah. It's uh, this cool. species of spider from Georgia, and uh, they're going to be spreading millions of them all up the East Coast. Last year, like there was invasive? a spider infestation. Yeah, because the wet, the atmosphere is, you know, warming up. They're spreading all up the East Coast, and, you know, hotter temperatures means they can breed more comfortably. And they don't They don't die when there's cold snaps at night. I guess so, really str one of the really strange thing about, strange things about climate change is that you know there's still right now you know this kind of consensus where you know there's a lot of different aspects of climate change that are based on so many different factors right and, and effects that climate change is gonna affect on our planet. But oh yeah, one as one the major aspect of climate change is literally just the laws of physics. So there's absolutely no doubt that the most important aspect of climate change, that CO2 
actually tra traps heat in our atmosphere because mm -hmm. you know uh, solar radiation is uh, um, you know uh, it's transparent uh, in our atmosphere and uh, when it radiates out it becomes uh, CO2 is an opaque like kind of a blocking factor where it uh, blocks the radiation that comes from our planet and and we bounce it back on our back on earth and it, it creates increased amount of heat like this this is just physics there's no doubt there's no you know you don't need to appeal cons to consensus like this is actually yeah. scientific fact of nature that 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 increased amounts of CO2 in our atmosphere is going to increase the temperature on planet Earth. This is a fact of physics. This is why religion, so uh, especially religions like Islam and Christianity are so da dangerous because they actually teach that, you know, the Earth is yours to, uh, to consume, be fruitful and multiply, and you know, don't think about you know because it's all going to burn up any any way when Jesus comes back and whatever. I think it's the part about uh, God will never destroy the world again after the global flood thing. Therefore, we don't have to worry about it. That probably too. It's a mix of everything. You guys watch? You guys ever seen that movie Snowpiercer? Yes, it has a TV show too, which is pretty good. Hell yeah. Is that on Netflix? Uh, I I pirate my stuff, so I have no idea which which uh thing. I think it's on Prime. In in a video game. I mean, that whole situation in that movie is set up because they tried to put oxygen into the atmosphere and it cooled it down to the point they put some like freezing agent to produce more oxygen or something, and it caused the planet to freeze. In real life, we are overdue for the ice age, and it is going to become a better what we Server settings, server settings, bands, bands, bands. Where's the bands? What are you I can see on? Orion, guys. I got a full view of Orion. Well, it's probably because it's down there. Is this Snow Piece of TV series worth watching then? Yeah, I like the movie better than the show, but the show is pretty good, too. I've seen the movie. I enjoyed the movie, but I haven't got to the show yet because I'm kind of like, well, I've seen the movie. <laughs> Romago, you're not there. I've unbanned you. You're not on the ban list. I, bro. I, B, R, O. Not banned. Not on the ban the first list. Time, the first time I watched Snowpiercer, I was high as fuck. And uh, when, it, the scene, when it got to the scene where he looked inside the nutrition block maker and there was a bunch of bugs that shit creeped me the fuck out man you guys read the uh theory that snowpiercer is a spiritual sequel to willy wonka and the chocolate factory yeah <laughs> yeah it's pretty good that's the reason i watched snowpiercer i don't think it is though it's fandom I just watched it because it was a good movie. I don't know, man. Listen. Yeah. What's his name? The director. He actually played in it. The Japanese guy or Korean guy. He makes a lot of dark movies. I think he made uh, Train to Busan, too. The zombie one? Yeah. The same director. Did Snowpiercer. He's made like animes too. I don't really know anything off the top of my head. You guys want to know something interesting about me? If you guys care. Well, we've just talked to Mango, so it better be interesting. <laughs> I grew up in a uh, religious cult, homeschooling cult, in uh, upstate New York. Uh, Christianity? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But it was like, um, 
they they used to force a, instead of sermons on Sunday, we would sit for like five or six hours in the in the sanctuary, and they would play Kent Hovind seminars on the projector. <laughs> <laughs> and uh they forced us they forced us to uh do a becca you know the becca um creationist uh propaganda textbooks we had to do school work out of those pandas and people uh i don't think it was that early um it was it was just more like i don't even remember what they were called but they were just the becca book uh brand they're all creationist propaganda curriculum Oh my god! And, uh, forced to listen to Ken Hoven over and over. Yeah, I, I, I was so I was young and you know indoctrinated. I, I believed all of it when I was younger. So, so everybody else around me did. How did and, you uh, sit for like five or six hours? That sounds like the guy who who ran it. His name is Jerry Irwin. He's he was like a six foot five, uh, three hundred pound dude. He was really charismatic and, and psychopathic, and he would have moments where he'd like explode in rage. He used to frighten people, and, and he he had control of everybody's lives. Like he he got people to even uh, put food stamps in the collection plate if they didn't have money. Like that's how much control he had over them. And uh, all his, he died, and then all his kids they're all in prison now because um one of the kids I grew up with in there they. I, I had left, but they stayed, their family stayed, and they actually ended up killing him because they, like, accused him of, like, a bunch of different shit, like witchcraft, and they did, like, some spiritual beating, and he died, and they all went to prison. Jesus. It was, uh, it was on, like, CNN. My uncle was on CNN talking to fucking Anderson Cooper about it. Must have been a lot of repetition, because Kent Hoven only has, like, an hour's worth of arguments. So listen to him. To no, no, he has hours. like he has like forty or something hours of seminars. An hour is pretty generous. He his his whole seminar pack. They bought the whole thing. It was like it's like eighty dollars for the whole thing. Oh shit, guys! I just saw a meeting. Anyway, but no, they they used to fucking um make us watch those every Sunday. That and uh, Ken Ham documentaries. Um, they. Get this, they, they made us watch documentaries about um, how the Holocaust was fake, how uh, the Branch Davidians in Waco, Texas were actually um, persecuted by the government. And, like, you know, like terrible shit. Alex Jones, they played Alex Jones all the time, too. I'm sorry to him, my dear. I'm sorry. I mean, that's what drove me away from Christianity, was that, you know, looking back on how absolutely insane though that those people were yeah yeah absolutely I mean, but you shouldn't have to experience that to reach that point like that. oh yeah i got a lot of trauma from it dude. yeah i'm sorry yeah i'm sorry you had to go through that angels i went through a lot of the same it's a biblical love man if you want you can always talk to me about it in private that's okay i I've talked to a lot of people. I just, I thought my story could contribute. Maybe, you know, maybe other people been through similar things. I was raised in a very destructive and abusive cult and or destructive group. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Sorry, man. It was the Mormons? Uh, Pentecostal Christians. Yeah, that's kind of what we were too. We, they, we, they call, we call ourselves non-denomination. Are non-denominational, but our our people who would run the services, they were like, they'd be running around dancing, screaming, shouting in tongues, and acting like fucking idiots. Yeah, if you want to, you can always talk to me about this stuff. I'm very well studied about it. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, just message me, uh, and I'll have you in my inbox. Will do. That'll be cool. That goes for anybody else, if, you know, whatever. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I grew up yeah, in LDS. Uh, in. LDS? Oh. I prefer to keep some of my more personal experiences not while well being, you know, recorded. So, oh, no, no offense to T-Jump. It's just, you know, 
who I kind of am. All my all all the shit I went through the the cult is all it's in a book. Um, they wrote a book about it. It's called Without a Prayer by Susan Ashline, and um, she wrote a book about everything, and she got some information from my mom and her wife about everything that was going on, and my stepmom. She did she did um a documentary on it. She got interviewed in a documentary. I don't know what channel it was on. It was like some um like some true crime documentary. I forgot. I'm sorry you had to go through that, buddy. Hopefully you're doing better now though. Hey, this is yeah. my first time here. Can I ask T jump a question? No. You just you just did. <laughs> <laughs> uh well i was wondering what your position was on like whether the world would be a better place without religion i'm sure you have answered it but well it's like asking if would the world would be a better place without spears i mean spears had a very good use uh back in the day they made things a lot better there's new better tools now but some people still need the spears for certain things and so it's like it's just a technology like any other that has some beneficial aspects. So I wouldn't get rid of it. I would want to replace it with a uh, the better one, but I wouldn't get rid of it, probably. Also, I'd lose so my like, job. So like, uh, maybe archaic isn't the right word, but like lesser developed areas may still use spears. So religion would fall in that same... <laughs> position to keep things intact sort of or... uh, yeah as emotionally for people for humans yes that's what i would say is that uh okay people aren't intellectually comfortable with like saying they don't know and uh it can act as the glue to keep things together until we reach further development pretty much yeah okay i i agree so I think like once we get a model of objective morality without a god and that's accepted by a lot of people, then that's at that point we probably will be able to move on from religion. I guess that kind of ties into my next question, which is I know you're trying to make like a, an atheist church. Yep. Um has a theist used that like against your argument to kind of be like, oh, you know, now the secularists are no different from the theists. Look, they're making a church. Um, maybe. Well, how would that be we, an argument have, against us in any way? Well, I mean, just because we use the name church. Well, I'm specifically using it for that reason to say, yes, we have a church that's better than yours. So that's the reason I'm using that. So, I mean, it's not an argument against my position. Right. No, I wouldn't say like against. Maybe that was a bad way to put it. I mean, More. there are there there is a church outside of normal, typical religions that is an actual religion, but is not like all others. I see. So there I are did different not understand religions that out there. That are, okay, maybe I should word it a little bit better. There are religions out there that are not inherently abusive, and you know stripping people of their identities there is at least one organization that i'm familiar with that is a church like it is it's not a church but they use the label of a church well most churches people. aren't um they don't take most churches aren't bad taking advantage of people most churches are just a bunch of regular people where they get together and do stuff so most churches are like that I meant more in line with like what we typically see from Kent Hovind, which is like he'll call atheists yeah, a religion. You know, being an atheist is a religion. And so, like, doesn't that kind of play into his hand? I guess we maybe we don't have to even worry about it. Well, yeah, again, I'm doing that specifically in order to provide that and say, yes, we do have a religion that is better than yours. So I, I want that. That's a good thing. Yeah, I can see a congregation be good. Yeah. I mean, there is at least one atheistic religion out there that does fill in that necessary gap. Well, there's a lot of them, actually. Yeah, there's a lot. I'm just pointing out there's at least oh, one yeah. that I'm aware of. 
I guess you never have a world without some kind of religion. I think people always need that. Some people will always need that idea that they know. Yeah, we could also say that it's, you know, it's a church without a book that we point to. Well, no, I, no. I'm having a book. I'm having my objective morality as the book. Oh, you are? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. You're going to have to compete with uh, Satanism. Yep. Go and find some stone tablets. What's the book going to be all about? Uh, objective morality. Oh, cool. You have to you, you have to put the chair on the cover. <laughs> it's a prerequisite. <laughs> it's all about branding. It's all about branding. Will your will your objective morality um, be similar to uh, what Scott Clifton laid out in his um, his treatise on morality? Um, I don't know. I don't know enough about Scott Clifton's view. Okay. He has a YouTube video talking about it. I don't, I would doubt it. It, it does not, it doesn't really align with what I've heard you talk about where it's, the morality is centered around, um, you know, choice, uh, and minimizing uh, and the individual's ability to choose. It's more around um, well-being. Yeah, I don't like well-being. I think well-being ones are pretty bad. They're pretty arbitrary. Okay. Uh, T jump. I just wanted to say, uh, you know, before I actually found your channel, I actually came to like pretty. I'm not, I'm not like a philosopher or anything, but I came to like pretty similar conclusions about like. You know, if we found a alien species, like the only conclusion would be like, well, my, at least in, under my my thinking, would be that they have to be benevolent, or they have to be. Yeah, I think it's more likely for uh, sure. Sufficient, yeah, because like you know, why you know the idea that they come to Earth just to kill us and extract resources is like kind of very human centric idea. I think. Yep. We do. I mean, like, there's, there's like not. If, it doesn't make any sense to say that there's a resource here that isn't anywhere else that we they couldn't just make no. if they could like manipulate matter to that degree. Like, they could probably just make it. If they could get to our solar system, they could pretty much do anything. Violence seems like a very un, not very productive way of doing things. And they could just kill us all without much effort either way. We would be dead before they even knew they were they were there. They just create like a virus and be like, okay, sure. bye. They could just fire a they could just throw like a rock at us. How would we approach away. a highly intelligent, you know, alien species like that? Like with which would the best choice be with aggression? Or like, no. <laughs> we can't, right? If there is someone super technologically advanced, let's hit them with a stick and see what happens. Genius. That's what the movies do. <laughs> yeah, and then we beat them with a an F sixteen fighter jet. I, I honestly, out of all like the solutions to the Fermi paradox, uh, the one I believe the most is that we're just on some TV show, and Earth is just like an galactic entertainment because it's it's actually just a shit show. Like, like nature, the, uh, Rick and Morty episode. We, yep. we are, yeah, we are the nature one. channel. Yeah, pretty much. There's people looking, like, observing from far away how we live our lives, and then we pop out of the simulation. <laughs> just funny monkeys in a zoo. I think the coolest alien concept I've ever seen in a movie was uh, that... You cut out. Movie. I think the coolest alien concept that I've seen in a movie, it's that uh, alien movie with Natalie Portman. Uh, it's not Arrival, it's something else. Is that with that like celestial looking deer thing? I forgot what the movie was called. Anni Annihilation. Yes, that's the one. That movie was so trippy, dude. The alien that was in it, it was like some like folding four-dimensional plasma that could like i mean yeah that, that already like exists it's already called it's called strange matter it's like, it reminds yeah, me it of like, everything it was Princess so cool it, 
tripped me the fuck out, dude. And I had that, um, the de the, the bear that had ate one of the, one of the explorers and it consumed her DNA and it, it, when it growled, you could hear her voice in the background of the bear growl. It was fucking yeah, I remember that. psychotic. <laughs> I don't remember all the details of that movie, but wasn't it something like they are just evolving insanely fast? Like inside yeah, that like, area? They just shot like the matter uh, encased in meteorite on the planet, and then it just started developing its own life, I guess. Yeah. And it was I mean, mimicking. It's, a, it's amazing what evolution has created species wise on our planet, what we know over you know, billions of years, but taking that concept and like somehow consolidating it down into, you know, even a decade or something would be absolutely wild. I mean, I actually think that's probably like the future. This is just my personal opinion, but like, I think once we're able to actually like simulate things that life is the best way to do anything machine wise. So we want to, like, I think the future, the change. future, it's like, sorry, through our own it. It's like through our own evolution, just designing our own things. Biotech, right? Basically, yeah. yeah We're able to I think the run natural think... selection over millions of times and whatever we want it to do. So our like synthetic AI is going to reach a threshold eventually, and then we'll have to turn to biotech. Um, I mean, I think I think it just depends for certain things, like like when it comes to like doing like chemical. But right now, at least, when it comes to like processing chemicals. Like, we're really bad at that. Generally, like, life do that. Water filtration. At some point, I mean, in order to explore the universe, we're going to have to overcome the limitations of our biological bodies because it's just, like, almost impossible, you know, to... Our bodies are so... But yeah, well, the number one enemy to yeah. life is radiation, and at the moment you oh, yeah. the heliosphere, you just get obliterated. And telomeres. Yep. So Space is uh, extremely not nice. At some point, we're probably going to have to transfer our brains into uh, some kind of uh, cybernetic shell. Yeah, but we don't we don't know that that's possible yet. Wait, so yeah, T.J., when, uh, when everybody gets neural links, are you going to that way you're going to like start and become president, you can just willpower everybody down with your arguments? Um, uh, sure. Everyone must have fluffy chairs. <sighs> you guys ever played No Man's Sky? Oh, yeah. There's this race called the Corvax. You know, I always thought that would be a cool idea for like the future of humanity. Yeah, I I will always wonder like what is the most accurate, you know, sci-fi movie or hypothesis hypothesis that humanity has come up with that is like most in line with what could happen, you know, what will happen. <laughs> Yeah, devolve uh, the opposite of encephalization. I think we'll uncover the secret. We'll, we'll uncover the veil, and it'll just be chair. Chair. <laughs> always been chair. Not just any chair. All right, guys. I'm gonna get some food. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys later. Later, bud. Take care. Take it easy, man.